Hi guys, welcome back to Techno Power, and today I'm going to be doing another Arkham story video. This was actually a request that somebody asked me to do. Uh, it's the story of the Arkham Knight. Now, unlike with Scarecrow, I'm not reading this off of the Arkham Wiki. This is um, this is more of something I wrote down myself. I did use the Arkham Wiki for resources, but what I did was I only picked out key detailing information that I thought you might find useful or uh, informative. So I've just written the key bits of information down and reworded them a bit. So yeah, I, unlike last time, I've only picked out key details. So without further ado, this is the story of the Arkham Knight. So here we go. Before he became the commander of the militia, Jason Todd was the second person to take up the mantle of Robin after Dick Grayson had left Batman's side and become Nightwing. As Robin, Jason was often reckless and had an explosive temper, and this often led him going too far and showing no restraint when fighting crime. Despite Bruce's attempts to guide him, Jason's temper worsened, leaving Batman worried that he may one day break his moral code and kill. In one of the city stories, it's revealed that the Joker had blown up a schoolhouse of children. It was in that moment that Jason had decided to kill the Joker out of revenge for all the harm he had caused over the years. Jason terminated his communications link to Batman and tracked the Joker all the way to a mysterious abandoned wing of Arkham Asylum. This turned out to not be the wisest move, as he was ambushed by the Joker's henchmen and taken captive. Joker held Jason captive and tortured him psychologically and physically, putting him through a lot of games. One of these included Joker showing a photo of Tim Drake as the new Robin to Jason, as by that point Jason had been missing for about six months. Joker beat Jason with a crowbar and eventually branded the letter J onto his cheek. For over a year, Joker continued to torture Jason, which led to Batman giving up on finding him. Joker eventually managed to convince Jason that Batman was the enemy and broke him to the point of insanity. Joker then recorded an interview of him and Jason where he asked for Batman's secret identity. However, as Jason was about to tell him, Joker shot him in the chest and taunted Batman before ending the video. Joker left Jason's body to rot, thinking he was dead. Due to his body armour, he had survived the shot and managed to regain consciousness. This caused him to snap and causing him to believe that Batman would never kill the Joker out of will, even for revenge for his murder or the many, many people Joker had killed. Jason also felt abandoned and replaced by the new Robin, which caused him to finally break and make it his mission to end the life of Batman. Now, I've only included this bit because I read that Jason was in fact still on Arkham Island during the Joker's takeover. He was assembling his privatised military force called the Militia, as well as their arsenal of drone tanks and helicopters. He trained them with all of Batman's tricks and gimmicks, and taught them the weaknesses of the Batsuit. Now taking the persona of the Arkham Knights, Jason monitored Arkham City and witnessed Protocol 10. In fact, he was planning to enter to rescue Batman from the rubble of the explosion, but was scared off when he saw Catwoman approaching. After the events of Arkham City and after Joker's death, the Arkham Knight continued to monitor Batman, witnessing him fighting the Electrocutioner's protege and after Batman defeated him, killed him. The Arkham Knight also arrived at Arkham Asylum to stop Batman from dying in the blast that would destroy the asylum, however only managed to find the Joker's diary before flying off. The Arkham Knight also went on a killing spree, including the murder of cousins Tweedledee, Tweedledum and Tweedledie, killing them in their cell with a shotgun. The Arkham Knight eventually sought out and found Scarecrow after demonstrating his skills by slaughtering his men. He explained his resources and extreme knowledge of Batman, which eventually led to Scarecrow agreeing to team up with him. Jason had given Scarecrow the idea of evacuating Gotham and revealed the knowledge of Barbara Gordon working for Batman. Jason also hired his saviour, Deathstroke, as a backup commander and advisor to the militia. The Arkham Knight stormed Ace Chemicals in a helicopter and destroyed the bridge to the place, making his intentions clear to Batman. He also ambushed Batman when he was rescuing one of the workers and revealed his knowledge of Batman's armour. The Arkham Knight revealed that he knew how Batman thought, a phrase he makes perfectly clear throughout the game. The Arkham Knight eventually attempted to face off with the Batmobile when Batman had found and rescued the last worker but was defeated by him, which was expected. 
It was also the Arkham Knight who had kidnapped Oracle and taken her to Scarecrow for him to use in his plan to psychologically break Batman. While Batman was attempting to track Barbara, the Knight ambushed him again and shot a bullet directly into the weak spot of Bruce's armor. The Arkham Knight also helped Scarecrow extract the cloudburst and mount it onto his personal tank. Jason also ordered the militia to take Mr. Freeze's wife, Nora, and hold her captive for Freeze to deliver Batman to them. Concealed in his tank, Jason activated the fear toxin which led to all of Gotham being covered in the toxin, which disabled the Batmobile. After Batman retrieved a Nimbus cell to power the Batmobile, he found and released another plant in order for Poison Ivy to eradicate the toxin. The Knight invited Batman to Bleak Island, who trapped him by raising the bridges. Bruce took out the Cobra tanks on guard and managed to rupture each coolant line on the Cloudburst before destroying it and rescuing Jason from the blast. The Arkham Knight attempted to combat Batman, however managed to escape when Bruce saw a vision of the Joker. Batman also started tracking Jim Gordon to the militia's HQ, where the Arkham Knight again ambushed him with a giant excavator, chasing him through the tunnels. He managed to evade the excavator, however the vehicle was simply far too powerful, leaving Batman with no choice but to eject and let the Arkham Knight destroy the Batmobile. Batman found Jim, however the Arkham Knight again found him, and revealed his true identity to Bruce. Bruce was left in shock as Jason tortured Batman's emotions by saying that he had trusted him, but left him to die. Jason revealed his intentions of wanting Bruce dead. Batman managed to escape, however Jason combined his two pistols into a sniper rifle, removing his Arkham Knight helmet to reveal the red hood underneath. Batman did manage to overpower Jason eventually, and tried to appeal to him once more, informing Alfred of his discovery. He told Jason that he would help to fix him, and that he still loved him, and that it wasn't too late. Jason lowered his gun, confused about what to do. While Bruce was talking to Alfred, Jason slipped away into the shadows. Secretly, Bruce had managed to get through to Jason, and he realised that Batman had never wanted to abandon him. Jason abandoned his command over the militia and removed the insignia from his chest, arriving at Arkham Asylum in time to rescue Bruce from Scarecrow, but not before Scarecrow revealed Batman's identity to the world. Jason abandoned his Arkham Knight persona and restarted his life. A month after the Nightfall Protocol and the death of Batman, Jason had taken up the persona of the violent vigilante known as the Red Hood. He focused on fighting crime, however broke the Bat family's moral code of not killing. Jason targeted Black Mask and attempted to drive him out of Gotham, eventually reaching Sionis after fighting through his men. While Roman protested that he'd leave, Red Hood simply stated he wanted Black Mask to go to hell before pushing him out of a window and asking him to say hi to the Joker. There you have it guys, the story of the Arkham Knight from the Arkham games. Um, like I said, this video might be a bit shorter because I only picked out key details. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.